Hello everyone. How are you all my dear students? I hope you all are fine and enjoying your studies. So my dear students, as you all know, we are doing revision. So today we will revise poem number 8, Adventures of Isabel. Adventures of Isabel textbook and fair book notes. Okay. So let's begin our today's session with a beautiful quote. So let's see. The only difference between a good day and a bad day is your attitude means have you look at it okay so let's see this is the image of your textbook poem 8 adventures of isabel so today we will just recite the poem as i already explained you okay so let's see all of us are scared of something or the other all of us are scared of something or the other but isabel knows no fear but isabel knows no fear read the poem about the adventures that isabel experiences and how she overcomes them read the poem about the adventures that isabel experiences and how she overcomes them so let's see let's recite the poem Isabel met an enormous bear Isabel met an enormous bear Isabel Isabel didn't care Isabel Isabel didn't care The bear was hungry the bear was ravenous The bear was hungry the bear was ravenous The bear's big mouth was cruel and cavernous. The bear's big mouth was cruel and cavernous. The bear said, "Isabel, glad to meet you." The bear said, "Isabel, glad to meet you." Let's see the next stanza. How do Isabel now I will eat you? How do Isabel now I will eat you Isabel Isabel didn't worry Isabel Isabel didn't worry Isabel didn't scream or scurry Isabel didn't scream or scurry She washed her hands and she straightened her hair up She washed her hands and she straightened her hair up then Isabel quietly at the bear up then Isabel quietly at the bear up now let's see the next stanza once in a night as black as pitch once in a night as black as pitch Isabel met a wicked old witch. Isabel met a wicked old witch. The witch face was cross and wrinkled. The witch face was cross and wrinkled. The witch gums with teeth were sprinkled. The witch gums with teeth were sprinkled. Ho ho Isabel the old witch crowd. Ho ho Isabel the old witch crowd I will turn you into an ugly toad I will turn you into an ugly toad Isabel Isabel didn't worry Isabel Isabel didn't worry Isabel didn't scream or scurry Isabel didn't scream or scurry she showed no rage and she showed no rancor 
she showed no rage and she showed no rancor but she turned the witch into milk and drank her but she turned the witch into milk and drank her now let's revise the whole poem now this time you all are going to recite it with me okay so let's recite the poem so poem starts with here isabel met an enormous bear isabel met an enormous bear isabel isabel didn't care isabel isabel didn't care the bear was hungry the bear was ravenous the bear was hungry the bear was ravenous the bear's big mouth was cruel and cavernous the bear's big mouth was cruel and cavernous the bear said isabel glad to meet you the bear said isabel glad to meet you how do isabel now i will eat you how do isabel now i will eat you isabel isabel didn't worry isabel isabel didn't worry isabel didn't scream or scurry isabel didn't scream or scurry she washed her hands and she straightened her hair up she washed her hands and she straightened her hair up then isabel quietly at the bear up then isabel quietly at the bear up once in a night as black as pitch once in a night as black as pitch isabel met a wicked old witch Isabel met a wicked old witch the witch face was cross and wrinkled the witch face was cross and wrinkled the witch gums with teeth were sprinkled the witch gums with teeth were sprinkled ho ho isabel the old witch crowd ho ho isabel the old witch crowd I will turn you into an ugly toad. I will turn you into an ugly toad. Isabel, Isabel, didn't worry. Isabel, Isabel, didn't worry. Isabel didn't scream or scurry. Isabel didn't scream or scurry. She showed no rage and she showed no rancor. she showed no rage and she showed no rancor but she turned the witch into milk and drank her but she turned the witch into milk and drank her now this is the image of your textbook here you can see isabel and the witch right so now let's read about the poet frederick orden nash was a popular american poet best known for his humorous poetry his first collection of poems hard lines published in 1931 became an immediate success in the 1950s he spent most of his time writing poetry for children some of his well known works include custard and company candy is dandy and verses now let's see the fair book notes fair book notes first topic is hard words first topic is hard words so now let's see hard words number 1 f e a r fear f e a r fear number 2 a d 
V E N T U R E adventure A D V E N T U R E adventure number 3 I S A B E L Isabel I S A B E L Isabel number 4 E X P E R I E N C E S experiences E X P E R I E N C E S experiences then number 5 E N O R M O U S enormous E N O R M O U S enormous then number 6 R A V E N O U S ravenous R A V E N O U S ravenous then number 7 C A V E R N O U S covenants C A V E R N O U S covenants now i'm repeating all the hard words number 1 F E A R fear number 2 A D V E N T U R E adventure number 3 I S A B E L Isabel number 4 E X P E R I E N C E S experiences number 5 E N O R M O U S enormous number 6 R A V E N O U S ravenous number 7 C A V E R N O U S covenants now let's see the next hard word that is hard word number 8 S C A R E D scared S C A R E D scared number 9 S C U double R Y scurry S C U double R Y scurry then number 10 P I T C H pitch P I T C H pitch number eleven C R O double S cross C R O double S cross number twelve W R I N K L E D wrinkled W R I N K L E D wrinkled. Number thirteen S P R I N K L E D sprinkled. S P R I N K L E D sprinkled. 
Now I'm repeating these hard words. Number eight. S C A R E D. Scat. Number nine. S C U double R Y. Scurry. Number ten. P I T C H. Pitch. Number eleven. C R O double S. Cross. Number twelve. W R I N K L E D wrinkled. Number thirteen. S P R I N K L E D sprinkled. So now let's see the next hard word. That is hard word number fourteen. C R O W E D crowd. C R O W E D crowd. Number fifteen. U G L Y ugly. U G L Y ugly. Number sixteen. S C R E A M scream. S C R E A M scream. Number seventeen. R A N G E wrench. R A N G E wrench number eighteen R A N C O R rancor R A N C O R rancor then let's revise all the hard words again so let's see let's see number fourteen C R O W E D crowd. Fifteen. U G L Y ugly. Sixteen. S C R E A M scream. Then number seventeen. R A N G E wrench. Number eighteen. R A N C O R rancor. Now. Let's see the next topic in fair book that is meanings. Meanings. So let's see meanings. Number one, scared means fear. Scared, fear. Then number two, enormous. Enormous means huge. Enormous means huge. Then number three, ravenous. Ravenous means very hungry. Ravenous means very hungry. Number four, scream. Scream means to shout. Scream means to shout. Then number five, cross. Cross means looking angry. Cross means looking angry. Now, let's see the next topic. That is, give one word. Give one word. So let's see, give one word. Number one. Move fast with small, quick steps. Number one. Move fast with small quick steps. Answer is scurry. Scurry. Number one. Move fast with small quick steps. Answer is scurry. Now number two. Number two. A thick black sticky substance. A thick black sticky substance. Answer is pitch. Answer is pitch. A thick black sticky substance called pitch. Number three. A strange feeling of anger. A strange feeling of anger. Answer is Wretch. Answer is wretch. Now let's see the next topic after give one word. After give one word, there is rhyming words. 
rhyming words so let's see rhyming words now let's see the rhyming words number 1 bear fear bear fear worry scurry worry scurry pitch which pitch which number 4 wrinkled sprinkled wrinkled sprinkled now i am repeating these rhyming words bear fear bear fear worry scurry worry scurry pitch which pitch which wrinkled sprinkled wrinkled sprinkled now let's see the next topic that is opposites opposites so let's see opposites number 1 quietly noisily quietly noisily then number 2 black white black white then number 3 ugly beautiful ugly beautiful and number 4 old so you can write new or young old so you can write both new or young i am repeating opposites quietly noisily quietly noisily black white black white ugly beautiful ugly beautiful old new or young now let's see the next topic after give one word what is there sorry after opposite what is there that is answer in short answer in short so let's see answer in short question 1 pick two adjectives from the poem that describe the bear pick two adjectives from the poem that describe the bear answer 1 enormous and ravenous are the two adjectives that describe the bear answer 1 enormous and ravenous are the two adjectives that describe the bear i am repeating this question question 1 pick two adjectives from the poem that describe the bear answer 1 enormous and ravenous are the two adjectives that describe the bear then next is question 2 question 2 what did the bear say to isabel what did the bear say to isabel answer 2 the bear said Isabel glad to meet you how do Isabel now i will eat you answer 2 the bear said Isabel glad to meet you how do Isabel now i will eat you i am repeating this question question 2 what did the bear say to Isabel answer 2 the bear said isabel glad to meet you how do isabel now i will eat you now let's move to the next question let's see the next question that is question number 3 question number 3 question number 3 is here what did the witch want to turn Isabel into what did the witch want to turn Isabel into answer 3 the witch 
wanted to turn Isabel into an ugly toad. The witch wanted to turn Isabel into an ugly toad. I am repeating this question. Question 3. What did the witch want to turn Isabel into? Answer 3. The witch wanted to turn Isabel into an ugly toad. Then next is question 4. Pick any two movement words from the poem. Pick any two movement words from the poem. Answer 4. The two movement words from the poem are scurry and straighten. Answer 4. The two movement words from the poem are scurry and straighten. I am repeating this question. Question 4. Pick any two movement words from the poem. Answer 4. The two movement words from the poem are scurry and straighten. Now let's see the next topic that is answer in brief. Answer in brief. So let's see answer in brief. Question 1. Was Isabel scared to hear the bear's words? How did she react? Was Isabel scared to hear the bear's words? How did she react? Answer 1. No. Isabel was not scared to hear Bear's words. She did not scream or scurry. She washed her hands and straightened her hair. Then she ate the beer. Answer 1. No. Isabel was not scared to hear Bear's words. She did not scream or scurry. She washed her hands and straightened her hair. Then she ate the beer. I am repeating this question. Question 1. Was Isabel scared to hear the Bear's words? How did she react? Answer 1. No. Isabel was not scared to hear Bear's words. She did not scream or scurry. She washed her hands and straightened her hair. Then she ate the beer. The next question, that is question 2. Was Isabel scared to hear the witch words? How did she react? Question 2. Was Isabel scared to hear the witch words? How did she react? Answer 2. No. Isabel was not worry, scream or scurry. She did not worry, scream or scurry. She showed neither rage nor rancor. Isabel turned the witch into milk and drank her. Answer 2. No, Isabel was not worry, scream or scurry. She did not worry, scream or scurry. She showed neither rage nor rancor. Isabel turned the witch into milk and drank her. I am repeating the question. Question 2. Was Isabel scared to hear the witch words? How did she react? Answer 2. No. Isabel was not worry, scream or scurry. She showed neither rage nor rancor. Isabel turned the witch into milk and drank her. So my dear students, this was the end of fair book notes of poem number 8. I hope you all have completed your fair book properly and if you have missed anything, you can write it from the revision. We will meet in our next session with the next lesson.
Till then, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.